Hey guys, welcome back to Lavendaire. Today I'm talking about tarot for beginners. So if you've ever been curious about tarot cards and how to use them, I'm gonna show you how I use tarot cards for self-discovery and guidance. So with this video, I'm kickstarting a new mini series on fun self-discovery tool. So we're gonna start with tarot and then I wanna talk about astrology and then MBTI. These are just topics that I thought were really fun to bring up. There are things that I've been into for a while now, but I just haven't found the right occasion, I guess, to talk about it on my channel, but you guys have asked questions about them, so here is the series. If you listen to the Lavender Lifestyle podcast, you know that recently I interviewed Bridget Esselmont of BiddyTarot.com. So Biddy Tarot is the number one tarot site I believe online and I learned so much about tarot from her what it is how to use it and if you want like a more in-depth information coming from like a reliable source I would listen to that podcast episode because I am still a beginner at tarot so I'm just gonna share what I know so basically for me tarot is a fun tool to get in touch with my intuition it has nothing to do with like telling the future or anything like that it really is just a tool to tap into your inner voice to help guide you to where you should focus on next and the things that you should be aware of so what you can see is the cards are so subjective it's so relative and it all depends on how you interpret the cards for yourself and your own situation first things first you're gonna need a tarot deck this one that I have is called the fountain tarot I got it on Amazon so in choosing a tarot deck you want to choose a deck that speaks to you something that calls out to you in some way so for me I just browsed a bunch of different popular decks there's some traditional ones there's some like newer modern ones and there's minimalist ones there's artsy meticulous ones and so I just chose this one because the art really stood out to me it's so my style it's very like pretty dreamy it's like modern but it's not too minimal it's like pastel-y watercolor-y I just really liked it and I actually bought it like the night before I did my podcast interview with Biddy Tarot because I was like so excited to get my own tarot deck bottom line is you want to pick a deck that you're drawn to and don't overthink it so I'm gonna first go through the steps I take when I'm doing a tarot reading for myself and then later I'm gonna share different spreads you can do with your tarot cards because because it could be as simple as a one card spread for the day to like a 12 card spread like a lot of different layouts so don't worry about the spreads right now I'm just gonna go through the steps step one is you want to center yourself relax clear your mind and then set an intention for your tarot card reading so ways you can do this is you can meditate and then do your tarot card reading or you could just simply take like a few deep breaths I like to take like three deep breaths to just like calm myself and then focus on the intention for my reading whether I'm asking a question or whether I just want some guidance for my day you kind of like ask it in your mind I guess you want to think of it as getting yourself in that zone where you are tapping into your intuition tapping into your soul or the universe something spiritual something like outside and beyond yourself step two while you're holding on to that intention shuffle your cards so you can shuffle these cards as you would any other deck of cards I believe so usually I just kind of like shuffle it like this or sometimes I'll scramble it on the table and just like mix it around just so I make sure that things are both right side up and upside down and you'll see why that's important later. Step three, pick a card or cards if you're doing a multiple card spread. So typically I just do a simple one card spread for the day and so I just pick one card and look at it. Step four, look at your card and see if you get any immediate intuitive feelings about your card. So if you're more experienced in tarot, you'll immediately know what this card is about just based on like the name and the image but if you're a beginner don't worry just look at the image and see if anything comes to mind and I like to have a notebook where I jot down just thoughts or feelings that come up once I pick up this card step five and this is where I'm going to my personal experience is I will go to the fountain tarot little booklet that comes with the deck and I will turn to the page of the card and just read the little excerpt that they have on that card and then I will continue to jot whatever sticks out whether it's like a word or a phrase or just some feelings or thoughts that come 
like out of this reading. Pay attention to whether your card was upright or reversed when you picked it because when it's upright it holds the general meaning of the card but when it's reversed it kind of is the reverse of the meaning. I don't know if that makes sense but it basically reversed means that you have some work to do in this area. It's not necessarily a negative connotation but there is a difference between like an upright card versus a reversed card and don't worry the next step will help you clarify it further. If you don't have a booklet that comes with your tarot deck, you would just skip directly to step six, which is look up the meaning of that card on Google. So normally I just type in the name of the card and Biddy Tarot will be like the first website that comes up. So I usually like to just read the Biddy Tarot description and they do a great job of like describing what it means when it's upright, what it means when it's reversed or upside down. And I feel like that description is very like thorough, enough for me to like read through it and then I will continue to jot down notes in my journal. So as you're like reading the descriptions, whether it's in the pamphlet or online, try to decipher the meaning of that card that's applicable to your life. Try to see what this card is trying to tell you because there could be one card sharing one lesson, but that lesson will apply to different people in different ways. So it really is like very personal, very intuitive, and this is where your intuition comes in because you will have like thoughts come up naturally, which I consider just like your intuitive impulses. And those are the things that you want to capture because they're clues to where you should go, clues to what you should focus on. Eventually, after doing this for a while, you're going to start to learn all the different cards and all their meanings. But in general, with tarot, there are major arcana cards and minor arcana cards. When you pull a major arcana card out, that lesson generally refers to like a bigger picture lesson in your life as a whole. It's kind of like a bigger theme in your life. And when you pull out a minor arcana card, that usually refers to like a smaller theme theme or project or goal in your life. It's more like micro and detailed where the major arcana cards are like more macro big picture. So that can also help you like, you know, figure out what these cards are trying to tell you. If you're a note taker and you really want to learn tarot, it could help to just jot down all the different cards in your notes and then write like two to three keywords per card. And once you read like the story behind each card, that might help give you more I guess, understanding of the meaning and the lesson behind the card because each card holds a story. Anyway, that's how I've been learning to do tarot readings for myself for the past six months or so, and I've really been enjoying it. I'm not doing it like every single day, but whenever I feel lost or I need some guidance, I like to come to my cards. And I also have this book by Bridget Esselmont. She sent me this book. So this is the Biddy Tarot Tarot book. And in here, there are like more elaborate spreads on tarot. I'm I'm not sponsored by Biddy Tarot, but like I love her website so much. It's such a great resource, so I have to share it. But there are just more spreads that I've learned from this book. But there are actually tons of tarot spreads that you can find online. I'll link some down below. I feel like there's so much information out there that you just like Google it, look it up, and you'll be able to find what you need. But I hope that this is a good start for you. All right, so let me move on to some ideas for spreads that you can start out with. So we already talked about the one card spread that is pulling one card for your day, and it just kind of guides your day. What do you need today? Another Another simple spread to do is the three card spread where the cards represent past, present, and future. So you pull out three cards in order for past, present, future, and this can help you evaluate any life experience you're going through. Maybe you want to see like the order of how you're growing, maybe get a clue for where you've been, where you are, and where you're headed. And you see how these are so open-ended, you can apply this to like any area of your life. Another spread that I like to do sometimes is the decision-making spread. So if you're having trouble deciding between two options or maybe three or four options, then you can pull a card for each option and then whatever the card represents is kind of like what will happen or what you'll have to deal with or focus on if you choose that option. I hope that makes sense, but it's a way to kind of like give you a little more clarity on how it would feel to go in 
these different directions of your decisions. I try not to do this spread too often because I'm an indecisive person. I don't want to rely on the cards or anything. I want to like learn how to make decisions for myself. But if you're really in like a sticky situation, then this could be helpful. Another spread you can do is the monthly tarot spread. This one is good to do at the beginning of the year, but you can really do it any time of the year. Basically, you just like pick one card per month of the year. You lay it all out. And then when you like flip them over, that card kind of guides you with like a theme for each month of the year. This is actually something that I've done many years ago. I didn't exactly do it with tarot cards. I did it with oracle cards, which are similar but different. But anyway, when I did this for like two years in like 2014, 2015, it was just really interesting how my months aligned with what the cards said my month would be about. It was just really strange. So I don't know. I think it's a fun exercise. The last spread I'll share today is the Goals Tarot spread. This is one that I just came up with on my own. I'm sure it might be online too, but I just like thought of this when I was mapping out my goals for the year. Just look back at the goals that you've set for 2019, or you could look at your goals for the month or for the quarter, whatever it is, what you do is you pick a card for each goal that you set for yourself. And this is really cool because the card will reveal like what you need to focus on or maybe the story of you pursuing that goal like it might give you a clue to something that might help you like maybe you pick a card that tells you you have to work really hard at this goal or maybe you pick a card that tells you to like focus on surrendering and letting go so each card has a different meaning and it's really cool to see how that can apply to your goals so yeah have fun with that one all right so as i mentioned i will link more spread ideas down below whatever i can find i'm sure you can like go on pinterest and type in tarot spreads and find a bunch of resources but good luck have fun with tarot let me know if you have any questions down below and again make sure you listen to that podcast with Biddy tarot because I cannot explain it as well as she does but I feel like after six months of like doing tarot for myself I'm at a pretty good place to be able to like explain it to other people so that's why I waited this long to do this video but anyway love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video which I will talk about astrology all right bye Thank you.